name is Kentrell McDonald. I am a CTE marketing teacher with Cary High School. I have been teaching for four and a half years and I teach sports and entertainment marketing one and two and I also teach fashion merchandise and I am a CTE marketing teacher. My partner is Dawn Harrison. She is a family and consumer sciences teacher. She has over 25 years in this teaching game and she is proud about it and I am proud for her. She teaches apparel development one and two and she also teaches fashion merchandising. Dawn and I met in a PLT and since then we've collaborated in several different ways to bring our students together and show them the ever evolving world of the fashion industry. So we thought this pro this project would actually be perfect for us. And so we came up with the project of apparel retail store concept. And we wanted to do something that could also um, uh, have the students uh, incorporating critical thinking with everything that's going on with the pandemic right now. So the students were challenged to answer a following question about the fashion industry. How can fashion evolve to meet the ever-changing retail climate? And currently a lot of stores are going up and down. Um, some, some businesses are doing even better than they've ever done before. And then there are some businesses that were not able to make it. And so our students were challenged to create a retail store of their choice, whatever selling whatever products that they wanted that could sustain, to sustain in a um, pandemic such as the one that we're currently facing. And so they uh, did a lot of critical thinking skills when it came to creating a store and then different ways that they could actually keep that store going on with a pandemic going on. They were able to collaborate um, different ways um, and the different ways that they were able to collaborate is uh, we did a lot of breakout rooms. We also did a lot of full on discussions that were on live together. And our communication was through the students. <laughs> they went above and beyond in adding each other's as far as on their social media handles. They also um, at each other on their Google Slides and were able to sit on the computer and communicate that way. And then when it came to creativity, we had to get a little bit creative being that we would typically like to do this project in person, but because we didn't have everybody in person, we have the students who were virtual at home to work on more of the the leg end of the work when it came um, toward, um, towards the presentation purpose. And then when it came towards the 3D version, we had those students in person that were able to do um, be there physically to work on that portion. So when it comes to, um, when it came to this project, I absolutely loved it because I love to hear like the different ideas that the students came to us with um, and this actually reminded me of our immersions that we had this summer. So when it comes to our immersions, Dawn mentioned to me that she really, really loved the Red Hat immersion because she was able to bring a lot of technology resources back into her curriculum. Whereas I loved the uh, Plexus um, immersion because he, char he challenged us to be really creative and do product development. And that is like right up my alley. And we got the opportunity to create a flat iron that could, um, that was very innovative that has never been done before. And so this is like the same thing that we took back to our classroom. We challenged the students to create a retail store that has never ever been created before. So our store is called SoCal Streetwear and it starts in Southern California, hence the name. And we're gonna say it's like a chain store. So it's like all over the US basically. Um, it's targeted towards like teenagers, like from 14 to 18. It's pretty cheap, so we try to keep the price range from like 10 to 20 dollars per shirt. Um, it's not like luxury, but it's very industrial. That's like how our building is. It's pretty industrial, and um, it's pretty fun and tries to follow all the trends. Okay, can you tell me what inspired you guys to come up with this store, this particular store, and the price points that you guys um, came up with? Yeah, so basically we just try to find trends that we know are trending right now, basically like on TikTok and stuff. And we know that like teenagers usually aren't very, don't want to spend lots of money on luxury goods because we don't have that kind of money. So we want to try to keep it cheap, but still bring in people because if, if we have a lower price, but um, more people coming in, then it'll be a, better, be a better profit. Okay. And can you let me know how are you guys thinking about um, um, being current with what's going on with our climate right now in the world, such as COVID-19. So how are you guys going to cater to your customers and still create that 
um, that same experience that they would have in the store, but from an online shopping experience. Yeah, so we have people working on a website or an app right now, and we're trying to get like personal stylists so you can contact a stylist and then style, style you just like we would able, be able to have in the store. Okay, so what is their experience gonna be like in the store? Can you tell me a little bit about that? So we're gonna have people, you know, lots of workers coming up to you, helping you out, trying to pick out things. And um, basically we're just gonna have like a bunch of stuff on the walls and it's gonna be really fun and it's gonna be very welcoming. Um, we're trying not to be like too intimidating, basically, and we're gonna try to um, make our workers like come up to you, help you out, um, style you. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's very like everybody's kind of helping you. You're not very independent on in the store. Okay. All right. And how's your experience going with working with your team, um, your team workers it's or really your, your um, classmates? I'm sorry. It's really good. They're being really helpful, and no one's slacking off, which is really good. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So, Summer STEM expanded the concept of college and career readiness for my students and myself. One, those emergents were good for both of us because it challenged us to think outside of the box when it came to this project. And then it allowed us to incorporate what was going on in today's climate with the retail industry. Then I think this also helped our students out because it challenged them to think outside of the box. And then I feel like it allowed them to be creative in a way and learn different skills that they have they cannot learn in their everyday core classes, such as customer service, such as um, learning how to utilize technology and meet customer needs and wants. And so um, we evaluated the students. Um, we actually had each level for, or I'm sorry, we actually had a portion that um, correlated with each unit that we went over. So um, we had five, we have six units that are in our fashion merchandising class, whether it's um, customer service, whether it's retail selling process, the promotion of fashion, um, the buying process, and each portion of our curriculum has something to do with our project. And so we were able to individually um, grade them on each portion of that project when it came to those portions. So they had a rubric for each portion and um, they had to meet the requirements for the, the buying portion, the customer service portion, the actual physical aspect of the store. Um, the challenge problems that we had, we didn't have everyone in person and we just knew that this project will be a hit if this was in person. We've done um, similar projects like this in the past, but we put that extra challenge in there with um, challenging the students to be critical thinkers on how they can actually have their fashion um, retail store to actually sustain or maintain within the pandemic. And that is all we have for you. Thank you so much.